Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match, another game in the series between God and Sackdoth. I am Shadow Fury 33, your host, and once again we are on Red Comet. Let's begin with Sackdoth on the west side of the map, God on the east side of the map, and God once again going for hovercraft. Switch of map position, but this map is symmetric, not a big deal. Sackdoth, will he go for light vehicles again? Yes, he will! Will he go for Scorchers as much again? And no, I was going for darts first, but probably will be going for Scorchers quite a bit. We'll see, though. He may end up just going straight for levelers, assuming that Scrubbers are going to come out, and that would be a safe assumption. God going for Scrubblers once again. Scrubbers are definitely his signature unit as far as the Hypercraft Factory goes. Bunch of darts coming out. No! Spamming darts. Interesting. Yep, infinite darts coming out of there. I'm a little surprised at that, but not necessarily a bad idea for speed, and they definitely do match up with this Scrubbers for speed. They just don't have a whole lot of firepower. Damage 55 per shot compared to the Scrubbers having 110. Actually, you know what? Now two of them have the same alpha as a Scrubber does. It's an interesting strategy, actually, if pulled off. And getting a... Getting a Slasher for defense just to stop the Scrubbers from coming in. The only downside, of course, being that darts have basically no health. They have about a third of the health of Scrubbers for half the damage. Not terrible, but... Also higher fire rate, but still, that doesn't make them last particularly long. He needs a lot of them. And he does have quite a few. He is building more and more. He's getting, like I said, there's that slasher I mentioned, but basically going for slasher and dart. However, he is, there a slasher is done, but needs to get into position, and right in the way of the ghost, no, not quite in the way of the ghost turret, still, it's out of position. It's not really able to hit anything. This scrubber is just in position to take out whatever's inside the factory being built and take out the factory itself. The dart's basically doing nothing except feeding God Metal, and more Scrubbers coming in, half a dozen Scrubbers, and no real units are defending us since the Scorchers at least had a chance. Against small numbers of Scrubbers, they could take them out. The Slasher doing what it can, not able to do too much though, only one missile getting in. And the darts, once again, they do have a fair amount of firepower, but no health. They took way too much damage, looks like one of them got, or all of them got hit by one shot. Very strong shot there. On the other hand, Sackdoth is, well, he's getting some reclaim from his metal extractors and wind generators, but really, he's not quite behind on economy yet. And the Slasher doing what it can, actually not doing a terrible job, able to get rid of one of the Scrubbers, and Sackdoth's commander able to get rid of another. However, even with that, it's tough to make parity on that one. It's just, the Scrubbers really do have a lot of power to them if they're pushed well, if they're used well. And God actually not building anything right now, focusing more on building up his economy and confident that he's not going to get attacked in the meantime. Sackdoth, however, is attacking him in the meantime, and he is going to take out one of these builders too, or he's going to scout out that it's doing something. Oh yeah, Dark Souls don't have a whole lot of range. That is definitely a weakness of theirs. Shown by this Lotus, basically taking out that dart in one go. The other one, wisely avoiding the Lotus, but once again in the way of another Scrubber, yet another Scrubber coming in to take it out. And two darts, able to get rid of this defender built up, but once again, that scrubber will take care of them just fine. Slasher's getting a more defensive position, and doing a decent job getting rid of the scrubbers, actually. Enough slashers being built up that the scrubber's gonna have a hard time getting in. God changing up his tactics, going for a halberd instead. Very powerful unit, armored up when not... I say a very powerful unit a lot, don't I? The Zero Game is good at that. There's a lot of units that feel very powerful. Halberds, however, have good armor. When they're not firing, they... Basically don't take a whole lot of damage, which means they can just run straight through the slasher line and take out everything behind here. Take out the wind gens, take out the metal extractors. So that's God's next plan, is essentially to rush through this. Possibly even just take out the slashers from adjacent to them. But these scrubbers here are still in play. God still has them, he's still able to take care of them, and still able to use them. This halberd doing exactly that, actually going straight Straight for the slasher line, in fact, not sure because of where that is there. Not a big deal, though. He, as a sh little shield icon there, shows that it is armored up because it's not firing, and it is not on hold fire, actually. So if he's not careful, he could start having it shoot at units he doesn't want to have it shoot at. That's a small concern. Building up more of them, and now going for scrubbers afterwards. This is Halberds, just to break away a bit, get rid of those slashers, possibly scout out a bit, figure out where his scrubbers can go. But basically, the halberd's taking no damage. On top of that, it has 1250 health, so it's 
It's a tough unit. It doesn't go down easily. And it possibly also uses a distraction force to move these slashes out of position. Now, if God were to come in from the north here, he'd be able to take out everything. He'd win. But I don't think he's quite aware of that. He has no real way of being aware of that. No radar presence at that point. No, he's, he has no scouting information on that particular point in space. Sat on the other hand, he knows what's going on just inside his base, but he basically has nothing gained from radar. Everything's line of sight for him, basically. He does have a lot of units in line of sight of Sackdoths, though. And a lot of units also getting blocked off by the terrain formations. This Halberd here... The Halberd actually in defensive mode. But they are taking a lot of damage from the, from the Slashers. Trying to do what they can to finish that off, but really just distracting them. more, Forcing them back, and the Scrubbers finishing them off. So Slasher defense gone down. Sackdoth, is he building more Slashers? He is not building more Slashers. He is... Just using that one he has left, and it will not last long. Slashers can only fire when stopped, so they have to be very careful about positioning. And darts being built up in a fairly large group. At this point, Sackdoth and God have much closer to economic parity than the last game. But even then, it's still advantage to God. Sackdoth does have a better expansion attempt. Better expansion effort overall, actually. He's, he's doing pretty well. He does have nice defenses on it. The Scrubbers are going to have a harder time getting in, but... Not terrible. God definitely has the advantage. It's not going to be easy for Sackdoth to get back from this, but it's not going to be quite as much of a stomp as it was last game. Sackdoth definitely has a better position from which to fight. He doesn't have any... Well, he's focusing primarily on building. He has, he is floating as is God. Neither player going for caretakers too much. God is getting some caretakers up to help out here, and this caretaker is... Oh, actually, I can't tell how far its range is. The caretaker here, both of them are able to help out, and now we have, once again, like last game, Scrubbers coming up, one every two seconds, and this is pretty much going to be it for Sackdoth if he doesn't have a way of getting rid of those Scrubbers very quickly. One thing about Wolverines might do the trick. It'd be a bit tricky, but I think Levelers overall would be better for defense. I was thinking Wolverines might do the trick just because it would really... it would reduce somewhat the ability for the Scrubbers to move around. But even then, the Scrubbers are dealing enough damage that they're able to get through the defenses nicely. The main thing is just that Alpha. If they, if you wait, have them waste the Alpha, it's not so bad, which is a good reason to have darts. But having switched to Raptors, that Raptor going down, able to take care of a couple of the Scrubbers, but still, God just does not have the same economy as Sacto. Oh, sorry, Sacto doesn't have the same economy as God. Okay, I suppose that statement is actually reciprocal. It's true in both cases, but what I mean is that Sacto is still at a disadvantage. 15 metal per second disadvantage. And same with energy. God continued to expand along the north side of the map. Sackdoth could actually... Well, if he could spare some units, could send them along in the north where there are no defenses. Possibly even use that to distract Sackdoth... Sorry, distract God from his def, from his assault here to the south. Sackdoth, however, really doesn't have the map control to know that. And focusing very heavily on getting more heavy units for defense... Really, I'm a bit surprised he's not going more for levelers. I mean, it's kind of tricky to choose what unit in general, but levelers, between the splash damage and the really high f projectile speed, don't do badly against scrubbers. They don't quite match them as alpha for cost, but they do definitely come close, or at least do definitely match up just in terms of raw alpha. First, <laughs> Cybernetic Pony pointing out in the chat that Distracting God isn't exactly useful. He's... He is definitely quite attentive to that sort of thing, so he's not going to easily be distracted. And God actually taking the exact path I would suggest Sackdoth to take, and using that as an assault vector, going for a map-wide flank, basically. Getting back here, going to take out the factory in probably three shots with the Scrubbers. The Halberd well, as well, just in case. Taking the damage from the Scrubbers, stopping them from getting hit too much, and this is pretty much game. Ravager trying to come in to help out, but... This factory is doomed. There's nothing being built out of it, and the factory itself taking so much damage. Actually, God doesn't even care. He's just going for everything else around the factory. Not even focusing on that factory quite yet, but once he is, it's done. Sackdoth, not sure if he's going to go for a counterattack, trying to push in. He is pushing in a bit with a Ravager, running into some defenders. Not the biggest problem, but these brawlers are. Gunship plant actually haven't been built up for God. Wait. Yes, gunship plant right here. Brawler's coming up, and not that there's a lot of masses of units to take care of, but still, Brawlers are a powerful unit. That being said, the Scrubber's doing a good job taking care of this, having dropped the factory to have health, and will be finishing it off. 
There it goes, that light vehicle factory is down. It, it's down. There we go, now it's down. Lost everything in the process for that attack, but it was definitely worth it. Sackdoth has no production of any sort. He does have workers on the map. He... Oh wait, what am I doing? Where are Sackdoth's workers? Nope, never mind. They have no inactive workers at least. He does have his commander. He has... Yeah, that's about it. Commander and a mason. A caretaker being built up as well to accelerate any rebuilding efforts, but these brawlers coming in will finish all that off. Slashers are doing a decent job trying to defend against them. One of them will actually take some damage, but not really threatening. And there goes everything else. God coming in from the northeast as well. To finish this, Sackdoth is done for. Scrubbers from the northeast, brawlers from the south. That's it. That's the game. So, once again, God doing a very good job. Sackdoth doing a much better job this time than the last time. He definitely had a nice idea going in. But, God, still, those scrubbers are frightening. Very difficult to take care of. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back with the last game in this series, so stay tuned for that.